All right, guys, so now we're going to use the Hoover blade. Um, that's not going to be in the video because I, the, it was actually turned out quite crummy. So I'm not going to waste my time on that. But I'm going to vacuum my room the Hoover blade and I'm going to vacuum off the bathroom mat first and then my room rug here. Give me a minute, we're going to go ahead and attempt to vacuum off the rubber mat in the bathroom. I'll vacuum off my, my room carpet. Give me a minute, guys, we'll turn on the brush roller to get the light going. around the couch area you see in the front room. But when you sit in the main area, it's really too, it's really too fast fall hair, you know. Or you're gonna have a whole bunch of hair. Right now we're gonna check the uh, the brush roller. I'm gonna stop and take a look at that right fast. Um, it appears to have a little bit of hair on it. So we're gonna give it a quick cleaning. So give me a quick minute to stop for a minute. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab the quarter here and. Keep the brush roller out and clean it off real fast. So I wanted to clean it right quick and put it back in there. Then we'll leave it all. Then we'll leave it all messy, dirty. So I just want to clean it off right fast. Give me a second to clean it off. And like I say, guys, one channel I ever recommend you check out is Beckle 1987. Um, he's got a pretty cool channel. He's from um, from London or UK, United Kingdom. Pretty cool channel. Um, also, the Vacuum Geek. So also got a pretty nice channel. And like I say, guys, I wouldn't uh, turn down your head at a budget vacuum. There was one that I would like to have if I ever had the opportunity to own one or if I was someone ever gave me a, uh, a vac master, I would definitely take that. It's a pretty nice vacuum. I haven't ever owned one, so I can't say how how it is, but like I said, you know, the best I would say, not the greatest machine. Um, Never heard of having to change about that machine every every uh, sixty to ninety days. It's pretty bad, pretty bad quality. Also, so like I said, um, I'm gonna be working on it again later on using a rubber band to get the stripped out screw out of it, so I can take the brush roller out and get the um. 
to get the belt replaced so I can take the old worn out belt out and replace it. And hopefully the new belt will be a, a better quality. Um, if I get to go with to get the belt, I would be picking out a, you know, there are tougher belts than what, they're, what they put in the machine at the hardware store. Is you just have to, you have to be looking for something that's, you know, they make the ones that are for Bissell, yeah, but they also make, they call them, for vacuums, they call them heavy duty vacuum belts, so like, if you're constantly using your machine, it's not going to tear up the belt. It's like when you go get a belt for a snow blower, you can get a, you know, some, some of them call for V belts. Most of them usually are. Um, some, some machines call for Kevlar, you know, everything is a different kind of belt. Everything calls for a, a certain kind of, uh, belt to go on it, you know. It's just what they call it. Like I did my belt on my, the heck was it? I did a belt on my Craftsman Red Lawn Mower and it turned out pretty good. Didn't have any problems with it. Like I said, we are just cleaning off the brush roller again. It's not even that bad. I just choose to be, I choose to be more, um, just being a brush roller clean than being lazy. See some people that get vacuums, guys. Not everybody. Some people just get lazy and they don't. They choose not to clean a brush roller as often as they ought to. So I figured, keep it clean. Clean it anyways. Alright guys, give me one second. We have basically got the brush roller all clean. So now I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the machine. Give me one second to slide this back in. Give me a second to get this lined up. I just got that in there. Gotta get this in there too. You managed to put that in there. Alright guys, so that's back in. We're going to get our recorder here and we're going to lock it back in place. Ooh, give me a second. I dropped the recorder on the floor so I had to pick it back up. Um, and then we're Alright, it's pretty much done. I'm going to vacuum around the um, couch area. So I just got that done. Let me see, we have two battery cells left, so maybe we can make that work. Probably might keep time for recharge soon.
assassinated. Often seen by the other star she did. Let me see, I think, just in time, well, got another, got another use left in it, battery. Usually the battery will go back up on its own so it's kind of odd. Now let's see how the brush filler looks on the bottom. Let's see. Um, you know what? Not bad. It's got hair on it, but I'm gonna have to clean it. So, if you guys don't mind watching a long, um, boring video of me cleaning out the hair, then I'm gonna put it back in there, and it'll be done. So, give me a second. It's not a big deal. I seem to be clean anyways. Okay, so this vacuum does quite well for itself. I know there's, like I say, everyone has their opinion on Hoover Blade Plus and the Dirt Devil Power Max Pet, but this ain't that terrible. You go ahead and get the pocket knife, and I'm gonna break loose some of this hair that's stuck a little bit. I'm gonna get this stuff up and loose off the roller so I can just grab it as I go along. Well, guys, this would not be a bad vacuum at all. Even if you have a lot of hair in your house, I'd just say clean your brush roller more frequently. That's what I would recommend out of it. And this vacuum requires no tools, really, no tools at all to clean it. Just need a quarter. All the other vacuums, like the Bristol, that requires to have a, a screwdriver and all that. And like I say, with that thing, unless you keep up with how many, let's say you just replace your belt in January, well, you'd have to check it in. You'd have to check it in March. So it means you basically have to replace the belt in March. So they're recommending that, but so pretty much. But you don't know what I got in my pocket. Pretty much, I'm hoping to get the spare belt for it, just in case. Because, like I say, when that belt starts to get stretched out again, it won't. It'll do the same thing it's doing right now. It won't pick up anything. So, not a good quality machine, guys. I wouldn't waste your money on a Bissell. I would go for a Eureka. Yeah, Eureka's cheaper, but I mean. You're not paying all this, like I say with Bessel, you're, they're, you're charging people at least these clean view fills going for it. I'm going to guess and say probably right around $200 unit, you know.
Okay, it's just about clean. We're ready to go back inside the machine. All right, guys, and we are all done here. So remember, if you get this vacuum, you decide you want to use it, and you have a lot of hair, just clean it often. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video.